Is he really on top of Larry's head? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That was hilarious. All right. Good entertainment for the day. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snow Biome Survival Series, um, where we play on a map that's made up uh, about 99% snow biome. We have just a tiny little desert biome somewhere that I don't even know where it is, uh, but it's supposed to be towards the middle uh, for oil shale, for the purpose of oil shale, but otherwise this isn't. Uh, this map is entirely made up the snow biome uh, generated by the nitrogen world generator. So welcome back. And we are picking up right where we left off in episode one. Uh, we were very fortunate in episode one uh, in that we didn't die. <laughs> Always a good thing. And so we're just kind of continuing on here. Um, I'm, I'm going to go over this way just a little bit because I'm just kind of curious if this is like a, a peninsula. And then, But what we're ultimately going to do is turn around and, and continue heading uh it, towards the center of the map to the northwest uh, and finding our trader. But let's just take a quick peek over here really quick and see uh, what we can see. Uh, we did really well in the first episode. There's Larry uh, with food. So we've managed to get uh, a, lo a lot of meat. We killed two deer and a rabbit. And we also have um, a good supply of uh, of eggs. Just I'm just watching Larry here to see what the hell he's gonna do. Uh, we took our uh, we took our first four points after the you know the beginning quest, and one of those points we put into uh, well insulated. So between that and the, the torch, so far anyway, I've been able to you know keep the cold at bay. If you didn't catch the first episode, uh, we also disabled right from the get go. We disabled you know the little immunity thing. Uh, elemental protection, I think, is what it's called. Just because, you know, I thought that, considering, you know, the fact that, you know, fighting against the cold is part of the challenge here, uh, I didn't feel like that, or I felt like that was kind of cheaty. So we turned that off uh, right away. Because normally, otherwise, it protects you until I think you get hit, like, level 6 or something like that. And uh, so we turned that off. That's why we're cold right now, uh, even though we're still only level 1. Uh, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay with that. So, okay, well, I'm just looking out on the horizon there, and I, I'm seeing water over there, too. So, yeah, this uh, this might actually be like a little peninsula on the end of the island. I'm not really sure. Um, T Terry Beer generated the map for me. I, I, I mentioned him in the first episode, a good friend of mine. Um, and he did send me a, a preview map, and I just I kind of glanced at it, but I didn't look at it really closely because, I you know, I didn't want to... I didn't sit there and study it because I want to kind of just discover the map uh, for myself. And I vaguely remember this, you know, this southeastern area maybe being a, a like a peninsula, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, there's nothing over that way that we need. So let's just um, start heading towards the trader uh, to the northwest. I'm going to leave the coal there for now. Uh, we don't need coal right now. And when we do need it, I don't anticipate I'll have any trouble finding it. Okay, so we have a Larry uh, in our path up there. Larry the Lumberjack, that's what I call the, the frozen lumberjack zombie, in case you're watching me for the first time. If you've been watching me all along, you know that's what I call Larry the Lumberjack, or, I mean, the frozen <laughs> the frozen zombie guy, Larry the Lumberjack. Uh, so, okay, how are we doing on food and water? We're kind of low. Let's go ahead and just eat this right now. Uh, we're still okay on water, though. We'll at, we'll, we, we are still at 100 on our hydration, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not worried about hanging on to cans for now. That's not a priority. I start hanging on to them in the later game, though, because you can use them to make both oil and also sham chowder. But for now, uh, it's not really something we need. So let's kind of keep an eye on that, Larry. Maybe we'll see if we can move around, move around him. Of course, we have two Larrys off that way too. Okay, so maybe what we need to do, well, we could probably, <clears throat> excuse me, distract these guys with stone throws. I'd kind of like to get back out on the main road.
There they go. See ya, suckers. Let's be careful going over this little mound that we don't run right into a new Larry. He is all over the place. That guy's got a lot of brothers. Duct tape. All right. Always happy to find duct tape. It's a little slow. Um, you're here in the very early game here, guys. It's just because, you know, I'm creeping around all over the place, and I have to, I have to be really quiet and really stealthy. I don't want to engage these guys if I don't have to. I mean, eventually, we're going to have to, but until we have to, let's not, let's not bring it on ourselves. So just bear with me. It will definitely get more exciting uh, as we go along. Okay, looking good so far. We do need to uh, uh, keep our eyes peeled for mountain lions, of course. And they can sometimes be really hard to see. They're just barely higher than these, you know, all these weeds that are around the place. And they're, uh, you know, a very light tan colored, uh, you know, they have a light tan colored coat, so they, they blend in pretty, pretty well. You know, I'm not seeing any buildings, though. Not yet. We will, though. I mentioned in uh, the first episode, when we were, you know, kind of getting started, you know, we have three mega cities on this map, and a few towns on top of that, so we will have plenty of POIs uh, to loot, interact with, and whatnot uh, in this playthrough. Do I want to try and kill that rabbit? I'm not sure... He went off into the Thule's here. Yeah, let's just let's just forget him. We're we're doing fine out for meat. We don't we don't absolutely have to do it. Oh, it's stuck on the tree. Oh, it was stuck on the tree. <laughs> it's not now. All right. Oh, it went in the water. Ooh, I don't think we want to go in the water. That's going to definitely be detrimental to our holding our heat in. Okay, let's just forget about harvesting that bird's nest. Let's just go. That guy got really close. Damn. Where's that deer at? He went right down in the pond there. Or she. I keep calling the doe a, sh a he, but it's a she. Oh, right there. Too bad we wouldn't, weren't ready. We could have gotten another shot off at close range. There's something else walking around in that water. Hmm. All right, let's just go. Two deer. No, a mountain lion chasing the deer. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, I think we've lost our prey there. Look, oh, is he really on top of Larry's head? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That was hilarious. All right. Good entertainment for the day. Good entertainment. <laughs> Mountain lion jumped right on top of Larry's head. I love it. Let's have another shot here at potentially getting a jar of honey. There we go. There we go. Finally got some honey. Awesome. We still have 2.2 kilometers to go, my word. That's a long ways away. We don't strictly have to get 
to the uh, to the trader immediately. I would rather actually just find a town uh, or or even the mega city, so we can establish ourselves in a POI. Of course, it's always it's always handy to you know be near a trader. But there are at least, I believe there are at least four traders on this map, so we could... Well, I don't think we'll find one closer than the one the quest gave us, though, now that I think about it. That's probably the closest one, so... We'll just keep working away that direction and see what, what happens. If we find a, a town or a, a city before we hit the trader, we probably will not set up our permanent base there. Hey, we got some more honey. But we might spend the night there or something, so we'll see. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to scrap this and scrap this. We really don't need brass right now, but I mean, if I can hang on to it until we can get to a place, you know, for us where we can stash it, I, I, I will. we don't need plastic. That's really easy to get. Um, anything else we don't really need right now? We could turn this... We got four things of cloth. We could turn these into more torches, because torches will stack. I think they stack. Here, let's... Let's make one and just make sure that they do before I make a bunch of them. Alright, so that goes up to the south... Or down to the southwest. Uh, through some mountains there. I don't think we will go that way. Well, what is this, like a double freeway or something? That's weird. Here we go. Um, bats and clubs degrade 20% slower. That's volume 5 in the Batter Up series. Okay. And we have another... Oh, we got a buck. Got a big old buck. He's probably going to be even harder to kill than the doe, I think. There we go. So we got the first shot off on him. Let's just let him run around and do his thing. I want to harvest uh, the gut piles to get the bones in particular. Don't really care about the other stuff right now. Oh yeah, okay, so the torches do stack. All right, so we will use up all the animal fat to make more torches. There we go. Hit number two. It's getting on in the day here. I don't know if nighttime's really going to matter, make much difference or not. Well, actually it will because when you play on insane difficulty, the uh, at nighttime ferals come out. So that's not going to be good. That's hit number three. Oh, you know what? I see build buildings up ahead, too. That's good. Hit number four. And he's still on the hoof. Yeah, I figured he'd be a little tougher than the doe. Hit number five. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Hey, that's that's a trader. We just found a trader, you guys. It's not the quest trader, but who gives a shit about that? I don't care about that. Nice. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Finally. So it took six shots to kill that guy. I think he'll give us um, 35 pieces of meat, is it? Or maybe it's 30, I don't know. I'm not going after that rabbit because he's right next to Larry. 30. Okay, good. That's pretty good. So how much meat do we have? We have 78 pieces of meat. That's fantastic. Let's get rid of that stupid plastic. We don't need it. Um, We only have one thing of cloth, but we might as well make... 
We have two glue that we can make into duct tape. Uh, well, let's make another torch, and we'll figure out cloth later. I don't think we can find cotton in the snow biome. All right, let's put this guy back here and continue on. We have a we have the trader up here. That's fantastic. Hopefully, there's also a POI uh, near the trader that we can set up our initial base in. I think I do see like a log cabin over there, so that might work. Let's just see what's over here, though. There might be other POIs available to us as well. Oh, you know what? Is that... Is that a trader or is that the military base? I think that's the military base. Oh, he's close. Yeah, you know what? That's not the trader. Dog on it. Okay. That's that's that fenced in military base. I think that's a tier three POI. Alright, well. <sighs> I guess we'll just keep moving on then. We're not going in there. No way, no how are we going in there. Do I see a silo over there? We could spend the night. Yeah, I do. So that's a that's a barn. So we could if we could get over there, we could maybe hang out there. I really don't want to run out into the water. We need to be careful of him because we can't see him now. But he could still aggro on us if, if he's close enough to the shore. Let's take those. Uh, I don't think we need pumpkin seeds for anything right now. And what I'm going to do is, let's make some duct tape. And let's make another torch. And I think we're good. I don't think we need that. Let's just get rid of that. There's another buck over there, but we don't need meat. We're, we're sitting pretty on meat for now. Oh, we got more honey. So that gives us three jars of honey. Sweet. Always a little nervous moving through the brush like this for the because of the mountain lions. Okay, looks like there's another building up ahead. I'm just curious, you know, to see if the temperature is going to change at all when it gets really dark. All right, we got two Larrys right in front of us. I'm not going to go after that buck. Oh, there. He's fighting a mountain lion. Interesting. You know what? We could have <laughs> we could have stumbled right on that mountain lion. Let's see who's going to win. Oh, Larry killed the mountain lion. I I, I would have put my money on Larry. Oh, wait a minute. Did he knock the mountain lion down and the mountain lion got back up? I don't know. Larry's down, though. Wow. Okay. Whew. That's not a Larry. That's a baldy. wonder if that's a feral. He's probably a feral baldy. We do not want to mess with him. No, sir. All right, let's send him going the opposite direction. There he goes. Okay. All right, so I thought it seemed to me like Larry killed the mountain lion. I wonder if the mountain lion put a bleed effect on Larry. I don't know. We need to be super, super careful going over here, though. Because if that mountain lion's still alive, he could wreck us big time. Is 
This is where things get a little bit... A little bit more hairy. <laughs> it is definitely not very dark out, though. I guess it kind of makes sense. Oh, yep, that mountain lion is dead. Look at that. Okay, so yeah, he must have put a, a bleed effect on Larry. So they killed each other. Check him out. Okay, well, free meat and hide for us, right? How much meat do we get off of a mountain lion? Let's see. 25 pieces. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So Larry actually kind of saved our ass. <laughs> we we I, I was planning on kind of moving this along the same path. We could have stumbled right on that thing and it would have uh, not been good. It would not have been good. All right, let's put this back here. We're still doing really, really good as far as the temperature. I don't even have the snowflake and we don't have our torch out. Whew, a little nerve wracking though. Not gonna lie, I'm just a bit on edge. Just a little bit on edge. We got an Edgar up there. He's probably a feral Edgar. Because otherwise, why in the hell would an Edgar be out in the snow, right? We could probably outrun Edgar. Well, if he's a feral, though, we might not be able to outrun him. But the problem with running is we're bound to run into something else while we're trying to get away from him. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm going, what's that growling? It's my stomach. All right, we're going to have to we're gonna have to deal with that here pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Man, I do not like being in this brush. This is so dangerous. We got a building of some sort over that way. I'd like to get to a POI before we base up for the night. I mean, we don't even have to spend the night there. I just want to... But we need to we need to eat. That's our biggest problem right now. I suppose we could set up a campfire just out in the middle of nowhere, but that's pretty damn risky. It would take me a long time to dig down far enough to be safe to go underground. That's a junkyard. Okay. So, if we can get over there, we could probably get up on the roof unmolested. Because junkyards don't usually have sleepers on the roof. Sometimes they can, but not usually. Alright, we have a lootable car here. And a Larry way over that way. There's a pig right over there, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and kill him. Oh, there's a spider shit. <laughs> We're not looting this car. <laughs> He's really close. He'll hear it. He'll hear it. Oh, no, that's not a pig. That's another mountain lion. No, no, no. There is a pig and a mountain lion. Oh, jeez. The mountain lions do kind of make like a little growling noise. I wonder if a stone would distract him. It doesn't. It doesn't appear to, anyway. Um, You can distract bears, or at least zombie bears, with stone throws. Oh, shit, that scared me. Yeah, no, he doesn't give a shit about the stone throw. Okay, that spider was like right over here, so we've got it. 
Man, I hope that mountain lion doesn't move this way. I think we... <clears throat> I think we managed to get past the mountain lion. Whew, oh, man. Okay. Um... We want to try and get on top of this. Uh, see, the thing is, is there could be sleepers up there, A, and B. There are stairs leading up to the roof that zombies could come get us. I see more buildings off that way. Maybe, what should we do? What should we do? Yeah, let's, let's just keep moving. Well... We're down to 47 food. That's low, but it's not crucially low. Take the painkillers for sure. So let's just go around the other side of the junkyard here and see what our options are. And if we don't see anything good, then we'll come back and try and get up there. That spider's still making me nervous. I don't know where he went. He probably went in the water. Alright, there's a zombie. Okay, looks like we found a town, at least, if not a city. Wow, we got some kind of weird... wall of water thing going on here. That's bizarre. <laughs> Okay, we'll just kind of pretend like we never saw that. Let's send her down the road a little ways. <laughs> we hit her. Is that the house that has, like, the weird devil worship stuff up in the attic? Of course, there's a cup. There's a few POIs like that in this game. There's a passing gas. I wonder if that's going to have Zikaruskis on the roof. It's a small one, so it might be okay. On the other hand, we could also run into uh, we could also run into buzzards up there, which we don't want to do. All right, let's let's um, let's nerd pull up onto this roof and just see if it looks reasonably clear. Oh, you know what? This is a half-block roof, which is good, because nothing can spawn on a half-block roof. Roof. Okay, good. So we are in good shape, ladies and gentlemen. Good shape. All right, well, I think uh, it's probably about time to wrap up this episode here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a campfire, and I'm going to cook up um, bacon and eggs... And uh, probably, uh, l let's go ahead and put a bedroll down here too. So this will be our like our first spawn point. You know, it's going to be a little weird because it's on half blocks, but we don't care, right? And um, I'm going to make some bacon eggs. I'm going to make a chest to store some things. And then um, probably go get some snow. We'll drink these two waters and then refill them up and cook some water. So we have, you know, three, glass, uh, three jars of water. And then from there, we'll decide what to do and... So I will be ready to uh, do the next thing, whatever that happens to be, probably continue working towards the trader in uh, the next episode. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.